I'm going to be talking about how I went to Europe for 10 days and how I did it. So let's get started. So back in February, this girl was hired at my work. Her name is Emily. And after talking with her for a few weeks, we came to the conclusion that we wanted to travel to Europe together. Solo travel. You know what I mean, we traveled alone together. This video is exactly how we were able to do it, how I was able to budget for it, how we made it happen, and how it is so easily able to be done. When I got back from my trip, there were so many people who messaged me saying, oh, I'm so jealous that you went. I, I wish I could go. Um, I've always wanted to go to Europe. How did you do it? How much money was? Here's what our trip was. We went to Europe for 10 days. We went from Boston, Massachusetts, all the way to Budapest in Hungary. Her mom lives there. So we stayed there for two nights, which was great. Didn't have to pay for um, like accommodations, hotel or anything. Then from her mom's house, we went all the way to Milan, Italy, where we spent four days in Italy. One of those nights we went to Venice, which was amazing. Um, and then from Milan, Italy, we flew all the way to Krakow, Poland, which is where we stayed for the last two nights of our trip. And then I went all the way back home to Boston, Massachusetts. You're probably wondering, wow, Haley, that's a lot of money. How can you afford that? How much were the flights? Are you rich? Did your parents pay for everything? Let me tell you this. I work very hard for my money. I work very hard in general for the things I want. And when I have a goal and I set my mind to it, I make it happen no matter what the circumstances are around me. So I met Emily back in February. We booked our flights there and that was all we had booked for the first like two months. <laughs> flights there, which were around 250 to 275 dollars. We had a few months to figure out where else we wanted to go, about where we were gonna go, where we were gonna stay, how much money we should bring with us, and the things that we should expect when we were going. So here are a few tips to traveling Europe. So tip number one when traveling to Europe is flights. Obviously, you want to book your flights before you leave. It's even cheaper to book it in advance in most circumstances. So on our way there, like I said, it was around 250 275 We booked through Norwegian, which I highly, highly, highly suggest looking at. Um, Norwegian is a great airline. It is a cheap airline. But, you know, A, to B safely, that's all that matters, right? Um, they had TVs. They had little things for us to keep us occupied. It was a sort of a long flight and you know, I had no complaints. One, always check out Ryanair if you're going through multiple different countries on your trip. Ryanair is the cheapest airline that you can fly through um, while you're in Europe. Our flights from Budapest to Milan were around $30 and the same from Milan to Poland were about $30 each. So yeah it was it was pretty pretty good <laughs> on my flight home that was the most expensive it was around four hundred dollars now that is pretty average for flying to europe in general so i'm saying it's expensive because it was a little out of my budget to spend that much but you know since ryan air came and was able to give us good cheap flights i was able to squeeze in a little extra money to get home safely on a good airline and feel comfortable. Tip number two is figure out your accommodations before your trip. Pay for your accommodations before your trip. That way when you are on your trip, the only thing you have to worry about paying for are train tickets, Ubers, taxis, food, obviously, if you're not staying with family and you need to buy and support yourself. With food, you need to <laughs> think about that because your girl likes to eat. I mean, I need food all the time. We were in a big tourist area, Milan, Italy. Milan Cathedral, it was beautiful. I'm gonna insert some pictures right over here. Um, Milan was gorgeous, but you did have to pay to go in. You had to pay to go on top of the cathedral, which, you know, are all little expenses. We didn't know how much they would be until we got there. So you have to think about that stuff in advance. A lot of people want to do hostels. That's the cheapest way. Cheapest way to do Europe is do hostels. 
they are cheap, but there's a reason that majority of them are that cheap. A lot of them are a little scary. You can get your stuff stolen, not saying you will everywhere, but what we did is we did Airbnbs. Booking out a few months in advance saves you a ton of money. Well, every Airbnb that we booked, it was all paid for by the time that we got on our plane to leave. That's how I was able to budget it was because I wasn't spending like two grand or five grand all at once to do a trip. We booked it through a few months in advance. We paid for it over the few months till we left and that's the best way to do it. And I didn't have to tap into my savings account at all. Like I said, we stayed in Airbnbs. It was two of us, so we did split the cost down the middle. Um, we stayed in three Airbnbs. One of them was $75, one was $211, and one was, I think, around $70. Split that in half. It, it was probably less than $200 that we spent on accommodations. Um, we did stay in one hostel, Goodbye Lennon, in Krakow. Um, it was very cheap, $25 a night for two nights, so $50 each. There's a reason it was that cheap, because it was not the best. But it was towards the end of our trip. Um, all of our other accommodations were accommodating with breakfast and stuff included. So always look for those little perks before you buy where you're going to stay. Tip number three, try and look for trains, buses, Sorry, try to look for trains, buses before your flight lands or right before you get on your flight. You wanna look at trains and buses leaving to where you need to go when you land in the country. Um, majority of the time it is cheaper buying it online than when you land in London or you land in Italy and you need to buy a train ticket. Honestly, transportation was a lot more expensive than I planned for it to be. We did have to take a lot of trains that ended up being two to three hours long. So train tickets were around $30 plus. This doesn't seem that much, but like I said, we were traveling on a budget. So that's something just to think about. The end total that I ended up spending was around $1,500 during this whole entire trip. I brought with me around $900 in spending money for our food, transportation, in case anything went wrong. Thing I brought 900 just as a security blanket for me and I only spent around 500 of it. So I came home with around th upper 300, $400 left over, which was perfect. Cause your girl put that right back in her savings cause I'm fucking broke. It was $1,500, that is a lot of money. Um, thankfully, uh, a few family members of mine did help me out, probably averaging around three, like $400 of what I had for my trip was from family members, which I am very grateful for. So always see if you have people around you who can support you for trips like this. They are pretty much once in a lifetime opportunities. So a lot of people probably will want to help you and want to see you succeed. But if you were doing it on your own, car payments, you know, if you, if you are already supporting yourself on your own, my best advice to you is just to save a little at a time. What I did was I saved $40 every single week out of my tip money or out of my paychecks and I put that aside probably for around 13 weeks is how long I did that for and I had a vast amount of money to take with me to use as spending money. To end this video I really just want to say that I am so 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 grateful to have had the opportunity to go to Europe and one day I hope to go back. I feel so much more confident now um, going over there with just my just my girlfriend and being able to take on three different countries practically on our own. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below or DM me on Instagram. Um, any questions I'd love to answer and I'd love to help. For all of you who are seeing this and you want to travel and you just don't think you can do it or anything, I'm telling you, girl, you can do it, okay? you can do it. I didn't think I could. I would stay on Instagram. I'd scroll through, see all these travel Instagrammers, travel bloggers, whatever, living their best lives. And let me tell you, the world will move around you. You're worried about taking time off. You want to travel. You're worried about money. I'm telling you, take the risk, take the jump, do it. And the world will form around your decision. It'll all be okay. It's 100% worth it. And I really, really hope all of you guys 
reach for the stars, reach your dreams, and go freaking get it. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.